Here's the thought for the day that we want you to use every day, and the coaches are going to have you use this every single day, okay? Uh, a colleague of mine, Alan Stein, who I've done work with, uses this term frequently. It's called play present. We want you to play present throughout the course of the week. What that means is the only thing that you can control in the game is the present play. So if I shoot a shot here and I miss this shot and I'm running back on defense and I'm worried about that shot that I just missed, I'm not going to be as effective on the defensive end. I'm not playing present, I'm still thinking about the past, okay? If I'm playing defense and somebody blows by me and they score on me and my coach is yelling and I'm worried the fact that he just scored on me when I go down on offense, I'm not going to make that next shot. I'm not going to be effective on that next play. If I'm 0 for 3 in the first quarter and I'm worried about my performance in the first quarter, I'm not going to make that shot in the second quarter. There's only two things, obviously the present, you can control the present, but there's only two things in the game of basketball that you can control. You can practice every day, thousand shots a day, and you're going to go three for 14 someday. You can't even control your performance, but there's two things that every day, every time you step on the floor, you can control. What are they? What's one of them? Attitude. You could be the best teammate and the most coachable player every day. All of you. You don't need a skill to do that. Your attitude, what's the other piece that you can control? Your effort, how hard you play. All of you can play extremely hard for every play, for every practice, for every drill, for every station this week. Okay? We demand that you play present and you don't focus on the past, you don't focus on the future, just focus on that play, just focus on that station, just focus on that drill and you'll be successful.